Hello everybody, and welcome back to a brand spanking new video here on the Brugley channel. I'm your host, Brugley, and today I'm going to be doing a part two of the Backrooms Sublevels series, which is the series where I go over a sublevel in each video, and almost two months later, I'm bringing it back for episode two. A bunch of you have been asking for this series to make a return, so here we are. Sit back and relax and get ready to hear about possibly the most terrifying backroom sublevel ever. Enjoy. So the sublevel that I want to go over today is a brand new one to the backrooms wiki dot. I just read over it, it was on the new page list, and it's level 8.1, which obviously is a sublevel of level 8. This entry starts with a notice, directly from Meg themselves, that reads as follows. This page has been partially expunged due to an unexpected, unsystematic total collapse and destruction of level 8.1. Because of an inadvertent fusion of this sublayer and level 8, whose effect was firstly witnessed on February 12th, 2013, a separate document is to be shown to the general public that overviews the potential hazards that the collision has consequently caused. These environmental hazards in level 8 are only prone to occur near the initial entrance of level 8.1 before it was destroyed, the Meg team. Now since I've read that really fun message, let's get into the level explanation. But be warned, because level 8.1 is a very weird conglomeration, sub-level type thing. It's described by Wanderers as a really complex system of claustrophobic hallways that kinda look like caves, but they're really tiny and you can barely fit through them. This 8.1 area is different than other sub-areas because it doesn't actually seem to be related to level 8 at all, like not in the physical sense at least. Instead, the thought is that they barely are fused together somehow, since on rare occasions you can see a connecting hallway from level 8 to 8.1, but I'll get into that later, it's really unstable, and it's really bad. This partial fusion of level 8 and 8.1 also cause very weird auditory hallucinations and visual hallucinations and distortions. These distortions happen on levels 8 and 8.1 near where the 8.1 entrance is, so Meg advises everyone to avoid any exploration of these distortion areas because they're pretty dangerous, and it doesn't really sound that fun to me. Now, as I said earlier, level 8.1 itself is a mixed jumble of winding hallways that end in dead ends or they loop around and go around each other. The rock that these halls are carved through seems to be made out of a bedrock which is unnaturally durable and hard to break. The bedrock leaks almond water in certain spots, but it doesn't just leak almond water, it leaks a really weird red liquid that smells terrible that's been described as sulfuric so it smells like sulfur. Nasty. The almond water that leaks through the rocks sometimes makes sinkholes happen or ceilings to collapse because, you know, it breaks down the rock over time. And these things happen frequently, which makes mapping out a safe path in this area almost impossible. The rock hallways also cause those auditory and visual hallucination distortion things that I talked about earlier. Sometimes these things sound like crashing rocks, sometimes they sound like shrill whimpering, and this whimpering is so distorted and so loud that it causes some people to instantly pass out on hearing it. The frequencies have also broken ceramic objects and can even cause you to have complete derealization after just 10 minutes of exposure. No one knows the source of these sounds, but it's assumed that it has something to do with the fusion of level 8.1 and level 8 together and some kind of disimbalance thing. The hallways also have a really weird physical anomaly in some areas and will cause pretty gross things to happen, be warned. Like if you touch a wall, you could get sucked into the rocks and instantly just be encased in rock and instantly unalive. Grody. There is another part of this sublevel, as if it couldn't get any more dangerous, and the area is called Layer 2. This refers to the actual space between the intersection of level 8 and 8.1, like I mentioned earlier. So this layer 2 is where the two different levels connect together. Those distortions from earlier, specifically the auditory ones, are way more noticeable here, way louder. 
and it's unknown why it's so much louder here, but it can be assumed that wherever the source is, it's here. Layer 2 actually has longer, skinnier hallways than the rest of level 8.1 or even level 8, and there's no light source here, which is the opposite of 8.1, the main area, because there's just this, some kind of light source through the whole level there. But this area, Layer 2, is dark. Like, real dark. The nasty red sulfur stuff from earlier also leaks way more in this level, and it causes pretty deep puddles to form on the floor. The echoing off the walls and the auditory distortions make it impossible to document what kind of entities are here or how many of them there are, and there's no info on them literally at all. There's nothing. So who knows what lurks in the shadows? Gotcha. Maybe the creepiest part of level 8.1 and layer 2 is that there's been no documented instances of people escaping. So for all we know, people could get trapped there for an eternity in the winding, claustrophobic halls. Creepy to think about. Now the way this article's information was apparently gathered was by, quote, a method of analog communication via the use of certain devices. Okay then, I like how specific you are. Kind of goofy, but we're vibing. The main theory on there not being any documented escapes is that there's actually another layer called Layer 3 outside of the bedrock walls that perhaps has an exit, maybe? Or maybe there isn't this area and people are just doomed to wander the small hallways for an eternity. Nice! Also, there are no bases, entities, entrances, or exits documented. Just letting you know that I did not forget to add them to the video, they just don't exist. So I feel like a sub-level this crazy definitely needs a summary so you can understand it better. So I'm going to try to simplify it as much as possible. Sub-level 8.1 is somehow barely connected and fused to level 8 through a weird distorted area called layer 2. Level 8.1 has a bunch of paths that cut through bedrock with walls and ceilings, and there's really weird audio and physical distortions that occur. Layer 2 also has these weird distortions, but they're way louder and more intense. And Layer 2 is darker than Level 8.1, and both areas are extremely unstable. But to get to Level 8.1, you would have had to go through Layer 2 as kind of like a corridor area. You got it? Does it make sense? Me neither. All I know is that it's terrifying to think that if you come here, you might not be able to escape. And yeah, that was my explanation of the new sublevel 8.1 on the Backrooms Wikidot. If you want to go read it for yourself, the link will be down below in the description, as always, as well as the links to all my socials, and more importantly, my second channel, Toogly, where I'm uploading story time videos, rants, tier lists, other fun stuff. Pretty much, it's just more of me, so if you want to get more about me and my crazy life, go check it out. Speaking of fun, this channel, the Brutley channel, is really close to 200k, which is literally insane. Thank you all so, so much. Seriously, genuinely, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. 200k is just, that's incredible. Wow. If you have any suggestions for a 200k special, let me know down below. Thanks to my patrons and channel members for supporting me a little bit extra and funding things like new equipment and soon to be merch. That's right. Get ready for that. Over the next few months, merch is coming. I promise. Thanks for supporting and watching my content. Y'all are so cool for real. I really appreciate everything you do. I do thank you a lot, but y'all deserve it. <laughs> Seriously. With all that said, I will see you in the next video. Peace out. But wait, if you're still here, you're a real one because you haven't clicked out the video. And comment Brugly merch if you're still watching. Because if you watched all the way through the outro section, you, my friend, are what we call a real one. Anyways, thank you all so much. Peace out.